Muffin. I'm Wanda. And I'm sorry, I never was told the, the groom's name. I'm Bo. You're Bo. Okay, Bo, it's nice to meet you. We're excited for you guys. Your wedding team here is LaRonda, Vern, and Carolyn. And we have some things we want to show you. We have some ideas. Now, what we're going to show you today, obviously, is not written in stone. If you want to change something, you just tell us what you want to change. We'll try to accommodate you on telling pricing. We may have to do some more figuring you back with you. First thing we wanted to start with, well, I did have a question. I wasn't real sure on your email. Now, your budget you had, you told me, was uh, 8% of $22,000. That works up to be $1,760. Was that just flowers? Honey, how much money are you Your forking over? Your mom was paying for it. not getting any of my money. <laughs> Cheap. <laughs> did we need to include linens with that? Yes. We did? Okay. All right. Not a problem. Okay. I want to start out with the centerpieces. We figured from your totals that you gave us that you would have 10 tables of 10 people is what we had figured with your 85 guests and your 15 in the wedding party. So we're looking at doing... Three, uh, five tables with the three tall cylinders with the rhinestones around the top and wrapped around the sticks there inside with the light on the bottom and the uh, crystals and Look, the satchel. Look, it's Verna White. I know. That's <laughs> <laughs> so good. <laughs> now, as you see, this it doesn't have any flowers in it. So if you want to add flowers, we can. We'll just need to budget for that. Okay. So Not this is included. what you're proposing to do, just like it is. Just like it is at this These time. These two cylinders yes. will have. There'll be three cylinders there, all alike. Uh, with no flowers. With the no flowers. Oh no, no. We need flowers. You need flowers? Okay. All right. We'll get we'll get to that. Let's get through everything, and then let's see what you want to change. Okay. All right. That would be on five of the tables, which would be on half of the tables. The other five, we were going to do the tall cylinder by itself with the sash around the bottom. So that's what we were thinking about. The uh, other five tables with the three cylinders, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, would have the succulents with the butterflies on them. They're on the tables. As oh. far as the linens go, we were looking at doing the white tablecloth with the white chair cover and the green sash. We like it. We like okay. it. All right, wonderful. Okay. But I, honestly, I think if we are not going to get flowers on the other tables, that we need to take the linens out of the budget and just add the linen cost in, so that way you've got money for flowers. Will that work? That would be great because there there is a, a large expense towards the budget on the linens. So I can get a big arrangement up there for that. Well. Cool I can get a big arrangement big? up there for that, all right? <laughs> go big or go home right. is what my man says. <laughs> we'll see what we can do on that. Okay, on the trays, we are going to do, first of all, would you know what a, do you know what an ostromeria is? I do not. This is an ostromeria. We're looking at uh, pulling the white ostromerias in. And we were thinking about doing a couple of blooms of the Ostrom area on some Italian Ruskins here in the corner. Just doing a couple of corners because you need room for your food on your trays. Something to, to dress it up a little bit. We were thinking about three trays for 100 people with your servers. We figured that would be enough. That's the treatment for your cookies for your little Faber's box. Got 100 of those to be doing. On your, um, let's see here, your bouquet, your bride's bouquet, bridesmaids bouquets, your boutonnieres, and your bouquet. <coughs> now, now that we have a little bit more budget, we can do a little more on this if you want to. We kind of figured that from reading the email, you really didn't want to go way over the top on a lot of stuff. So the bridesmaids bouquet, we were thinking the single hydrangea 
with the rhinestone roping on it, like a little bow and some tails hanging down for a bridesmaid's bow. That's what we were thinking about that. I have a problem. Okay. The last wedding I was at, the bridesmaid had hydrangeas and they died okay. by the end of the night. How are you going to keep them fluffy and fresh? That can be a problem because if they're not treated correctly, they mm -hmm. will go down. So we do treat ours. However, if you, you're not comfortable with that, we can go to roses. We could do three stems of roses that they could carry the same way. And I don't know if you have experience with roses or not, but they're, over the course of the day, they're not going to go down that fast. But we like the hydrangea. We're from yeah. the south. That's okay. just everywhere. So we want to use well, that. How can you make like, that happen? Well, what we can do, <laughs> if you want to test one, we'll do one a day or two ahead of time or even a week ahead of time. We've got plenty of time before your wedding. We'll treat one, test it, lay it out for a day, and let's see where it's at the end of the day. If you want to come by the shop and see it, we can do that. Does that work for you? So, but there's no way that you can figure out for it to to stay fresh and look that size for the whole day. Okay. They just reminded me we've got more money now. We can put it in a bucket. Hmm. Not too much boxes. more money. <laughs> okay. And what does it look like? The bouquet holder? Mm-hmm. Hmm. You like that? Pretty, I like that. The bouquet holder. This certainly dresses up. This one also enhance the dress. And they can can we bedazzle it? Sure, sure. I like shiny. We can always add this around the top of it. We can also add a little tassel on the bottom of it. 